Hi, this is Michael Kennedy from Developmentor, and I would want to talk to you today about nested layouts and ASP.NET MVC razor views. And you can see the subtitle is layouts within layouts within layouts within layouts. Now, layout pages let us take a common look and feel and sort of put those into one file, one CSHTML file in our MVC project, and reuse it. So anytime we want to change the general look and feel of our site, we just change this one place and it flows across the whole thing. But what we'll see is with layouts, you can actually create nested layouts. So you can have one part of your site have a particular general view, and then you can make another one that is sort of based on that, but maybe add some additional uh, sidebars or uh, navigation or something like that. And it turns out it's really quite simple once you uh, see the trick. So let me flip over to an application we got running here. Here's a website we called coolcats.com. I don't know if there is really a coolcast.com or not, but that's what we called it just for an example. So here we have a sign-in page, and you can see there's kind of a look and feel to the site. It's got a footer, it's got this little uh, navigational header type thing and this gray background, and that's all good. And when we log in here, let's go ahead and log in, you'll see that you have basically the same layout, but there's additional stuff. Now that we're logged in, we have the second level menu, we have this white stuff, and we still have our uh, cool cats down here. So as I click around, you can see these pieces all caring about basically the same uh, look and feel with the content in the middle. So what we're going to look at is how we can take these two very similar parts of our site, this one with the second level nav and this, this type of body, and the other one that's a little more basic here and sort of build one based on the other. Okay, so let me switch back to the slides really quick. So you know what part is the actual HTML templates and what part are the layout? Well here we'll see that the layout turns out to be everything that's blue. So that's most of the site. The thing that the CSHTML file and the login sign-in page is uh, giving us is really just this little white dialog thing that's floating over the gray. And when we get to the second part here where we have this home page or the cars page or whatever, we've got like this main content section and then there's the navigation that was added on. But ideally what we'd like to do is just create a secondary layout that's yellow and just uh, use that in all these different pages, the home page, the cars page, the about page, and so on, and not have to duplicate the code. So if you were to peel back the code as it is, you'll see that we have a sign-in layout and like a main layout. And there's a crazy amount of duplication here. So you can see the sign-in layout and the main layout are totally separate, but they're built to look the same. So we've got you know, the same viewport, the same title, the same render, CSS bundles, everything. We have the same top nav. It's just this secondary nav and wrapping it into content that is all that's uh, happening in the secondary uh, main layout. So what we want to do is just take this and turn this into um, a layout page that is actually based on this one so we don't have any of this duplication. All we have to have is a second um, nav bit and then the content and then we'd be done. So let's switch over to Visual Studio 2012 and here's those two pages we were talking about. Right, those two layout ones. So what I want to do, this is the, the main layout for most of our site that has the extra nav and so on. So instead of duplicating all the stuff we just saw in that example, that that's all duplicate, that can go away. Similarly down here, all that can go. And it's just these two pieces we want to add. So the very simple trick that we have to do to make um, this a nested layout is just say, look, this layout page is actually based on the other one. So let's just say layout. It's that simple. The layout page that we have here is going to render all this stuff. And when it says render body, first thing that we're going to do is, you know, actually, I guess we'll go to this file here. And implicitly, we have the layout on this one set to um, tilde slash shared, oops, a little extra dot dot in there, shared slash, uh, sorry, views slash shared slash um, this one. But you don't see it written here. The reason is we are using the view start. We have that uh, automatically applied. So this page is based on the view start, uh, the one that's set in the view start, which is layout inner main. Layout inner main is then a nested one that's uh, based on the layout itself and only adds this additional stuff. So it's probably a little underwhelming uh, if I run it because it would look about the same. So let's just add one more thing. Let's just add one more thing so you can actually see that there's some sort of effect happening here. So let's call this um, another about. OK, 
Okay, so we should be able to see that with the, basically the same look we saw before. So here we go. It's got to recompile the page, we come in, we've got to sign in here. Just put any junk, it doesn't really matter, just for an example. Log in, here you see another about. If we were to go here and say view page source, it would look like all the stuff from the first one, the little extra bit we added, all the content, close it off, and then here's the, the outer layout page. So just to recap, super easy. If you want to make a layout page that is a nested layout, you just tell the layout page that it itself has a layout. And when you call render body here, it's going to work with whatever CS HTML content it has. But then on the outer layout, when it calls render body, it's first going to apply that inner uh, nested layout. So hopefully that was helpful for you. I will make this code downloadable and I'll put a link to it wherever you find the video. So that's, that's all I have for you. Thanks. Bye.